Yes, Arthur and Lois are getting a new home. And they're yet to know that they're going to be spending the rest of their life in this cage. Essentially, as some of you might have seen on Twitter, Lolo's developed a rather disgusting habit with Arthur. Thus, why she can't live with Arthur. I don't think Arthur really much wants her living with him anyway. So we've got them a new cage. And I'm going to attempt to put this together. It's the larger version of... Yeah, you know Arthur, do you know? It's the larger version of the uh, the Savick Rule Suite that uh, a lot of people keep their fancy rats in. We've gone for the bigger version because the pouches obviously need a, a bit more space. Um, it, it does cost a bit of a hefty sum, but we think that they're worth it. So I'm going to begin putting this together. We've got the cage together. What's our honest opinion of this cage, Claire? Um, it's a little bit more fragile than I thought. Yeah, that's only mm. that's one way. So, it's a bit bendy. So if we were reviewing this, you know, you come across this video because you searched the name and we're looking for a review. Well, you see it goes together pretty easy. Can't complain about that. If you put together a normal Royal Suite, it's much the same. But build quality, considering you pay more, it's not great. Um, it's a bit wobbly. I would say what they've done is, word for word, they've used the same amount of metal to make this as they have the smaller cage and they've just spread it all out a little bit. It all just feels a bit, it's bit, a bit, bit cheaper wibbly, than... Bit, bit bang. I mean, let, let's do a like for like comparison because we have lots of raw sweets because they're the only cages that really... So this is, this is your standard raw suite and if you took the top that's nice and strong, that doesn't really bend anywhere if you put a lot of weight on it. You know, the doors are nice and they're no, nice and clangy when you hit them. Yeah. You know, it's got a nice powder coat. These are looking a bit sorry. old and raggy, but... Sorry about this, ratties. Yeah, sorry, boys. For invading your privacy. You know, the main thing is that anyone who's familiar with the cage knows that they usually have, like, metal... I mean, we've separated these out in single cages. They have metal dividers in between here. <laughs> um, but on this... Yeah, you can't see them now, but they're actually plastic dividers. And not only that, but they're circle. They're not square dividers which correct me if I'm wrong but back in play school we learned that round things don't go in square holes maybe it's a German thing I don't know but uh yeah what else can I say it's kind of necessity we've bought this because the Savic Royal Suite is not quite big enough um, this the XL is but you know be prepared if you're buying it you've got the money to buy it then you're probably going to be disappointed but there we go. It's going to look nice when I've dressed it all up, and that's the main thing. And we did test it. We tested to make sure that if Arthur jumps, he's not going to fall through the bottom of it, because he was rather worried about the bounciness and the fact that it does slip out quite easily if you put a lot of weight on it. But we this, think... This, this is Arthur. Th this, this is our Arthur. Okay. Yeah. This is Arthur, i.e. a box of Quaker Oats and a brick. That weighs about the same as, yeah. well, a bit more than Arthur, but... Well, we had to be generous. Yeah. He's well, going gonna to grow. Yeah, we, well, we threw that in the... We might have seen it, but we threw it in just to make sure it didn't fall to the bottom. Because the last thing we want is Lois to do something at the top and fall through and crush Arthur. That would be a nightmare. So, Savic Royal Sweet XL. If you buy, I pity the fool. Bye for now.